Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the farm. The flowers are in bloom and things are getting beautiful around here. With the flowers in bloom, the grass is growing. I've spent the last couple days just mowing, trying to get this down. I'm not quite done yet. Um, we talked a couple videos ago about uh, Cal. Cal's sneaking up on uh, this right here, and that's kind of what I'm talking about. Last night we had pork chops, and I had talked a couple videos ago about showing you guys our pork, and I had forgot to do that. Well, I'm going to run these scraps leftover fat from these pork chops out to the chickens and then I promise right after that we're gonna check out this freezer here and see what this cooney cooney pork looks like. Alright so yes we did have pork chops the other day plate is not holding these very well. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Chickens are ready. This is the best part. Nothing goes to waste. Chickens will eat this up. I'm going to at least, I say they will. We'll see what they do. There we go. So yeah, nothing goes to waste. Chickens enjoy this, a little extra on their feed. All the pork that has been grown right here on the farm. And uh, they will eat this up and turn it into some delicious eggs for us. But it is getting hot. These chickens do have plenty of shade. A lot of times they'll go under their coop and we've got them up against the trees here. They've been scratching, pecking, and doing what chickens do back there in the shade. So. You can see these chickens are enjoying this little treat. Um, that is one other thing we're going to do today. It is getting hot for us, um, mid 80s, mid to upper 80s. I know that's not very hot for some of you guys around the country, but for us, for the pigs, it is hot. Also for this pig, has it been pretty hot, Cal? He's been uh, getting hot. We had that short the other day brushing out his... Uh, his coat and he was shedding like crazy. So before we do all that other stuff, I'm gonna go show you this Cooney Cooney pork. So let's run back up to the garage and check this pork out. Hey, you wanna ride? No, you gotta go around. Go around, come on. Let's go. There you go. That'll be a little easier. You don't have to run all the way back up. You sit down. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Let's go. All right, if you guys remember, we had taken four pigs to the butcher and we have eaten a bunch. And also we had some sold, so this is not gonna be as full as it was, but we were happy with what we got back. I don't remember the weights, I don't remember all that, um, but I can just show you what it looks like. So in here is our pork. I'm gonna try and get this closed as quick as possible. Up here, these are all the boneless, pork chops. We did boneless pork chops. We cut the tenderloin. So this is all, look at the dark, the dark color of this meat. Obviously they're a lard hog. They've got a big ring of lard on there. So your portions are a bit smaller, but your flavor is amazing. So those are all the pork chops. Here is sausage. We got mild and we got hot sausage. Um, sausage is great. We use it in place of anything we'd use ground pork for. And then we ended up getting patties this time, and these have actually worked out really nice, just cooking these up. Um, let's see what we got down here. Oh, we got our bellies back. Um, we got a whole belly here. These were kind of fatty. I tried to make um, uh, burnt ends, barbecue burnt ends, um, and it was quite fatty. I have not done bacon yet, but my plan is to cure some of those for bacon. And uh, down here is more of the patties, but this is a big old Boston butt. We'll throw that in the in the smoker, I'm sorry, the uh, crock pot, and we do pulled pork with that. So we just got the basic things back. We got bellies, sausage, um, and pork chops, basically. So 
Everything turned out good. It is a beautiful dark red coloring. And finally, I'm going to close this up as it's getting hotter. Finally, I cooked the pork chops good last night. It has been hard for me. I've been cooking them on the grill and you want your pork chops at 145 and get them off quick. Well, I've been cooking them and getting them over 145 and they're getting tough and I was getting frustrated. I figured out a new way to cook them the other day. I found something on YouTube for my chicken actually and the chicken in the oven turned out fantastic. And I did the same thing for the pork chops and got them in got them cooked them for about 12 minutes and uh, maybe i'll do a video and showing showing you guys how we cook our pork chops if that's something you'd want to see go ahead and put that down in the comments we might do a video we talked about doing videos about cooking we're not professional cookers we mess up a lot of things but we're finally tuning it in where uh we're getting our meat very good and figuring out how to cook it and it's simple it's very simple so i put them in there about 12 minutes got them out at 145 some of them a little under and then you let them rest and they cooked up to the 145 they need to be and they were delicious and isaiah he ate six the other night he ate three last night and he's not he's kind of a picky eater so if that tells you anything they were delicious so it's always awesome to come out in your own freezers we have not bought meat in the store in four years probably and uh it's just just delicious so it makes all the hard work raising them caring for them through the winters all this heat it makes it worth it um, but anyway yeah put down in the comments if you want to see how we do some of our cooking i'll try to do some of those videos uh, like i said this is not gordon ramsay here so uh, we just do the best we can and we figured out some ways that make these pork chops chicken we've been doing the boneless skinless thighs just delicious and it's super easy to cook so if that's something you want to see throw that down in the comments and we may do some cooking videos and show you how to do these things pretty easy so anyway getting hot let's get these animals comfortable first things first we're going to go down here to the broilers these are getting ready to be processed i've got one of them with a back tarp on it i want to take that tarp off same with the young ones way out there Let's take those tarps off and get some good wind flow through there as the temperatures continue to rise. All right, you can see that's really opened it up nice. Wind blowing through nicely. Chicken's doing good. We've got just a couple more days and we will be processing birds from this group. And they are turning out nicely. This is the group where we had to take them all inside and we had those storms and we had to bring them all back outside. So they got a little bit stressed. So they're a little smaller than I'd like to see at this time. But with that extra added stress, they, it's, I think it's kind of slowed their growth down a little bit. But overall, we're happy with it. Um, we're happy we took them inside and we didn't lose any during those storms. So as I was looking at the weather, I'm actually going to leave these younger ones. They are only about four weeks old. I'm going to leave that tarp on the back of that tractor. We've got some storms that are possibly coming in, wind and rain, and I don't want them to get wet. These older ones, they won't get wet, but with the extra wind and rain, they're fully feathered out. They're, they're good to go. So uh, we'll wait until these storms pass us and then we'll open up that tractor on the back as well. So it's overcast today, as you can see, and uh, they, should, they should be just fine with that tarp on the back. And you, as you saw before, it was open on the top, so there is wind coming through and they'll be good. So anyway, that's good for the chickens today. We wanna go and make sure that all the pigs whether their wallows are filled up or their pools are filled up, they have somewhere to get cool. So let's go check the pigs out. All right, starting out here in the back, these pigs have kind of made their own wallow and that's totally fine, but their pool is empty. So I'm gonna drag their pool underneath there. Hey, Mabel. Hey, Willabean. Have not seen Willabean get bred yet. Um, and there is Shiloh. So we're gonna get their pool back up under the shade cloth there and we're gonna get the pool filled up for them just in case they need any extra water or just to get cool. All 
All right, there we go. You can see they're already enjoying that. What do you think, bud? Is that good stuff there? Is he hogging the whole pool, Mabel? Well, you still got your wallow over there. You still got your wallow you can get in. But this is a good thing too, if we ever leave the farm for a couple hours on hot days, if we got their pools filled up, we know they can at least get a drink if they tip over their water barrels. We've tried the pig nipples on the 50 gallon water drums. We hadn't had much luck with that. And the biggest thing was moving them all the time because we tend to move the pigs often. And uh, so just having to move those all the time. The waters are working well for us. And then you throw the pools in and uh, if they tip the waters over, they still can get water out of the pool if need be. So there's one pen done. As I was driving back, most of the other pens had water. I need to go check on the girls across the property and just make sure they are okay. So let's go check them out. All right, if you saw last video, we had moved these pigs here and I talked about the shade here. This is Henry, Betty White, and Dandelion. And I talked that they would probably find the shade up here underneath these pines and they definitely have so they hang out here during the day they go take a dip you can see he's soaking wet back there in the wallow and then they come and lay down here in the trees so this spot is working out very nice Ooh, check that out can you see that spider Ooh, he's a pretty green but uh i do not like spiders yuck <laughs> not really focused there but anyway we're going to check on these girls. This is the Young Gilts here. I was going to try and remember all their names, but I know I'll butcher that. And then there is two Luis and Thistle over there. We're going to just check their water, make sure they're good. They've got water in the bowls. They've got their pool full. And it is cool in the shade here, so they are doing fine this morning we'll come back in the afternoon obviously feed and check the waters again but hopefully beginning of june we're expecting thistle and two luis to have some piglets so we're not a hundred percent sure that they took when we had uh, the boar in with them but we are hoping for the best so here's two luis how you doing nice and cool up against that tree these pigs were bigger when we got them so it's hard to tell hard to see if they're filling out for sure or not and sometimes it takes up until those last couple weeks that you can actually notice that they've got piglets y'all are talkative this morning trying to get me all muddy i'm backing out of here ouch that's a thorn oh so anyway these pigs are doing fine. We got to check the meat pen. That should be our last one. Actually, no, I can't. Uh, we've got some viewers that want to see Phil. So we got to go check and make sure that Phil and Molly are doing fine over there. All right, here's the meters and they are doing just fine. They've really been clearing this out. If you guys seen the video when we put them in here, they've all this low stuff they have, they have taken out and they are doing great. Their waters are full down there. Um, they've got the shade. There is some wet spots back there from when it was raining. So they have made their own wallows back there and uh, they are doing just fine. The other animals, chickens are good. Chickens all have shade to get to. Their waters are full. Um, we'll come out, like I said, we do chores early in the morning and then we do an afternoon chore. Um, if it's really hot, we'll come out right before we eat lunch and just make sure they all have water and uh, then afternoon chores are just a couple hours after lunch so they are good um the brooder barn's good they're still young chicks we i think they're two weeks old in there and so one feed in the morning and in the evening keeps them or the one feed in the morning keeps them good for most of the day i've got enough feeders and waters and in here in there so here he is KC Farms most viewed pig. They've got their water good. They've got shade under here. I gotta come in and say hi. So here's Phil and Molly. We did see them breed. So about two and a half months, we should have some Phil and Molly piglets. We'll get Phil to pose here. There you go. 
goes. Molly's trying to steal the show. There he is. He'll stay there for a minute until that wears off. Molly's tongue always hanging. She's the one of the easiest for us to get to roll over here. There she goes. Phil's in the way, but she'll push him out of the way. There you go. Kind of the downward dog today. It's feeling your way, Molly, huh? It's he in your way. There's Phil. Phil, you look like you're pregnant. What happened, bud? You're eating good, huh? So there they are. <laughs> Phil and Molly, they are they are two fun, fun pigs. They're all easy to handle, but just this look here is so endearing. And then Phil has not a care in the world, doesn't care about much. That's most young boars. Once they get a little older, then they're a little more, they care a little more about things. You heading down, Molly? Right on Phil's head? There you go. There you go. Yeah, so <laughs> these two are fantastic and we do like to show them. I did get a request to start Phil, his own YouTube channel. I'm not sure I have have time to knock all that out, but uh, he would be pretty fun. I don't know what we talk about every day. We just have to have a Phil camera out here and follow him around, I guess. But Anyway, definitely wanted to show you guys the pork and uh we had that last night and i was so excited that they finally turned out great and it's well guys sorry about that the microphone's messed up again um not sure if i just need to get a new set but we're ending the video here anyway just checking out molly and phil appreciate you guys following along don't forget to make the change and we'll see you on the next video